Oh, hell yeah. I love Sherlock Holmes. Let's check this out. Two hours later. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Holmes and Watson is the dumpster fire movie that follows Will Ferrell and John C. Wiley's Sherlock Holmes and John Watson as they try and thwart the plans of the villainous Professor Morar 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 Moriarty 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 I can't talk today Moriarty 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 Fuck Voldemort This time around they're taking a comedy approach to things though This coming from the duo that brought us the hilariously funny Talladega Nights and Step Brothers It's understandable that you expect this to be pretty damn funny And hey maybe its biggest joke is that it fooled you into thinking this was going to be a funny movie. Because it's not. This movie is absolutely fucking terrible. Like bad. Like they set out for this to be bad, kind of bad. I didn't laugh at all through the whole thing. There was one moment, one moment near the end that was kind of funny. Chuckle worthy at best. And around the same part, there's a Billy Zane reference that it kind of got a smile out of me. That's because it's fucking Billy Zane. How can you not smile? Beyond those two very small moments, there's not anything for you here in this movie. It's just absolutely, totally unfunny. This is a review though, so I guess let's do that. So the performances, they're pretty much on par with what you expect with this kind of movie. Not bad, just kind of slapstick and goofball. Which is fine, but what they're doing is just not funny, so it makes it stand out even more. And while the performances are eh, fine, I guess, the chemistry between the two leads is just non-existent. Which is really weird, because these two guys have worked together beautifully in the past. So you would think, even if the movie sucked all around, the chemistry part would work. But it doesn't. There's like zero chemistry here between them. But I mean, at the same time, there's zero chemistry between anybody in this movie, including the viewer in the film. <laughs> the story what there is of one is pretty damn weak too. It's not even really enough to progress things forward to get to the next funny moment. It's really just weak setup to get us to funny moments, but they fuck that up too because we don't ever seem to get to those funny moments. This movie's a slog, man. Just boring as hell. I fell asleep two times while watching it. I had to force myself to finish. I really hate slamming a movie like this because I love film, but when it's this bad, it totally deserves it. This movie's caught a lot of shit since it came out. Everybody's been trashing it. And I was really hoping, like I do in these situations, that it wasn't as bad as everybody was making it sound. That maybe there was a little bit of a bandwagon situation going on here. But no, it's as bad as they said. Really fucking bad. All the bad things I mentioned here, the story, the performances, pretty much everything with the movie, could be overlooked and really they'd be fine if the movie was funny but it's just not at all and it commits the cardinal sin of any movie in my opinion which is that it's just boring and that is one of many reasons why this movie is an absolute total and utter dumpster fire do not watch this piece of shit and if you do just remember I warned you. So there it is, guys, my bashing of Holmes and Watson. If you enjoyed and want more content like this, hit that subscribe button and help my little channel grow. If you liked what I had to say, give me a thumbs up. If not, let me know in the comments below why. And as always, I'll see you guys next time. Yeah, no shit, Sherlock. <laughs> this movie's so unfunny that I couldn't even come up with something funny to put at the end of this review. Just don't watch it. Don't. Watch Sherlock on the BBC. It's fucking awesome. Fuck this hunk of shit. Would you like some heroin?